have this conversation again from the other side. It's all new to Zephyros, but it would be a little dull to read the whole thing over again. Let's just pick up where we left off. Do you want me to say more alien things? N no, I mean, I have no way to verify if those are true or not. Um, oh, send me a picture of you. I, I don't have any photos, and anyway, how could I get it to you? I'm trapped in here by that monster. Uh, aren't you using the Tetrax tablet? Take the pics with that and transmit it over. Pics? Xmit? Pictures. Transmit. Okay, um, that's kind of a weird ask, Xerox, but I'll give it a, a shot. Here goes. <laughs> Not expecting the flash. Oh yeah, you're definitely an alien. Or you have some strange collection of grotesque physical and mental diseases. Uh, either way, you need my help. Okay, that much is definitely true. I'm pretty sure I heard the monster scratching at the door. He's probably hungry. Anyway, man, if you're an alien, we gotta get you out of here. The heiress hates aliens. <sighs> the what? The heiress! Oh, uh, well, she's awful. She controls everything, basically. I mean, I doubt she's ever met one. But to hear her talk, she hates aliens as much as she hates low bloods, which I guess you also are? You, you're practically a member of the Resistance already. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure whether to be really confused or really concerned about you. Do you need help? One time, when things got really bad with my brother, my babysitter took him to the doctor, and it seemed to help. <laughs> what's a brother? What's a babysitter? What's a doctor? What's a brother? Wow, you are so lucky. I really don't know. Okay, I'm definitely concerned. Being concerned is what friends do for each other. I've never had anyone with Tetrarch Damic be concerned about me before. Oh, jeez. I bet the other Tetrarchs will be extremely excited to hear there's an alien helping us now. Uh, sure. But I'm sort of pretty focused on not being killed by the monster in the other room at the moment. That's kind of my main deal right now. I don't really have a lot of time for anything else. Right, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, I'll help you. And the Tetrarch too, because, well, I think, okay, I hope this is also helping him somehow. Which reminds me, we should really shouldn't be talking like this. Like what? Tetrarch Demix says we always have to assume our communications are being monitored, and this is exactly the kind of conversation I shouldn't be having. Oh man, I better hurry up and get over there. On my way now. Please don't message me anymore. It's dangerous. Verb. In person, I mean. <laughs> the Grubbles. The Grubbles. If you buck, we won't trouble to resist thrown fist while you sift through the rubble. It's sort of hard to spit your quasi-revolutionary rhymes with any real fire while dressed in your butler uniforms, though. Demix says you're subversively transforming the rags of your oppression into the fatigues of the revolutionary through your jams, but you're kind of worried your performances will be drowned out by sarcastic orders to polish the silver. Alright, time to go. You were just a little wiggler. Curling up with your Lucis made you feel safe, but the world seemed scary, which was often. Aw. Also, your Lucis is adorable. What, is it a sloth? I bet it's a sloth. Cleaning supplies. The noble instruments of your future career, you guess. It kind of depresses you to keep them any anywhere you like to have fun, so just dump them at the end of the hallway. Which is your faithful old scour tray. Which <laughs> scour tray? <laughs> Interesting. Which you haven't bothered draining recently. Inside of it, resa fluid and floor filth coalesce to make a repugnant gray sludge. Your smear spinner has gotten a lot of use lately. Why well, just look at that glisten of mucus on the floor? Beautiful. You'd almost take pride in it. This was a great night. Demic insisted that you have half the flavor disc. Your Lucis took this picture. A delightful trick he has never repeated. <laughs> In contrast to Tetrarch Demic's per percussive machismo, your stage persona is more skittish? As if you're vaguely terrified of the implications of your own pseudo-revolutionary rhymes. Which is not far off the mark, as one of the implications could be your site execution. You guys have a lot of fun in the studio, as evidenced by this candid selfie Tetrarch Demic told you to take. Look at you, so carefree. You wish you were gearing up to play right now. You were so excited to show him that branch, he ate all the leaves in one very slow bite. You were left with a pretty decent hive, ma hive made cubat. The first cubat you ever had, actually. He's totally a sloth, and I love him. I, I want a Lucis like that. Alright. Good 
kind of wish you could live somewhere with more trees. Maybe then you'd be less asleep always. Like most things in your life, though, you don't really have much say in the matter. Tetrarch Demic had you act out scenes from one of your favorite action movies, which just so happened to be his favorite action movies, too. You're lucky to have a Moira who really pushes you. This is from the 12th Paragree's Eve, where Demic gave you the autotune mic he made. This was his way of letting you know he'd started a band and that you were the singer, and also that your voice could use a little help. <laughs> you still can't believe they got a shot of you at the exact moment you clobbered the clover. What a lucky break. <laughs> he was always giving you leaves to eat. You would munch on them for his benefit, mostly. Come to think of it, though, you have always been pretty strong. Could those bitter leaves you gnawed on as a wiggler have something to do with it? Jeez, come to think of it, the two of you haven't played in the tree in a long time. Maybe that's why he's been so lazy? Well, at least it looks like the two of you will be both be getting some exercise in the immediate future. Maybe if your hallway is really clean, the drones will stop trying to burn your neighborhood down and kill you. Ah, there's that Ross Press Plug Moxie. Alright. The door to your rumpus room. Oh, this place is great. Wow, I would not have expected a low blood to have something like this. Guess all attorney is a little different than I thought. Uh, you take some pretty good thumps to the nug bone in your day. Uh, the pusher is the only player allowed to score, so they're prime targets for the opposing defense. The helmet's so worn out that it's basically worthless except for its sentimental value, which is still pretty low. Your Zoltan Matzo's bobble nug figurine is the jewel of your collection. Nothing like a little recessed tabletop arena stickball with your best bud. Too bad he's not around right now. Maybe later. Nah, recess tabletop arena stick ball isn't very fun by yourself. It's not very much like arena stick ball either. It's your cube bat, the most prized piece of arena stick ball equipment. Better bring it with you. I need to find something to help you pry it loose. My psychic powers, perhaps. Psychic powers. Nothing. Not even be cheating, or would it? You're actually not entirely sure. It just doesn't matter since you're not playing against me anyway. But I can't, I can't try to pry it out of my psychic powers. That's kind of disappointing. Um. <laughs> okay, that was just a weird combination. Whatever. Right, look, it's your sports ball vault. Such a huge, heavy vault themed with sports, or arena stick ball specifically, and obviously. The only place in the hive you store food for your Lucis. He's so strong he could easily break in any other hiding place. It's a special telekinesis-based interface. It tends to wear you out a little, and the combination is pretty hard to remember. They release a new arena stickball game grub like six times a sweep, and every time you buy it, like a sucker, and I'm surprised when nothing's different. Tis like, what, what are they gonna do? Change the rules? You can't open the sports ball with your hands. Try thinking before you act. For the grub. Now you're pretty busy right now. Only chumps play video games and they have obligations they should be tending to. This is a hilarious interface. Oh, messed up. Oof, that's a rough one. It'd be hard to remember the path when you're already concentrating on your shaky telekinesis. Helps you with some kind of guide on hand. You just gotta, you've got just the thing, but uh, you don't think it's in this room. Okay, so I need to find something to pry that open and the guide to the vault. Oh, this is all your house. This is huge. You think you should probably find something to protect yourself with before descending into the violent unknown of your own hive. Preferably a weapon.
outside maybe? This leads to your gander, Pres Pre Prespus. Maybe a fine gander you've had out there? Good, honest gandering. All those drones out there? No way. All right, come on. Where is something to pry with? Maybe it was in one of those toolboxes? Running out of uh, ideas on how to actually get this thing on. Try to look at that free, but it seems you wedged it in there a little too tight. You need to find something to help you pry it loose. Psychic. Can't quite lift a cube out with your talking pieces. The best pushers can, but you're not one of them. Let's wrap it loose. doubt about it. Packing one of these bad boys would increase your blunt force offensive rating by a whole 15 points. I wonder there's something in there about how to get it loose. Zoltan Matsos was the greatest pusher the snow globes ever had. No prowler could catch him, no zapper could blast him, and no matter what the loosest, loosest the wrangler set on him, Matsos would shake him off. That all ended the night the heiress of that era attended the game, and the opposing controller made Matsos thrust his bone nook at her. Should have called right there on the velvet. This wasn't the current heiress, of course. This was a long time ago, before you were hatched. That's kind of sad. Oh. Oh my. Okay. Is there... Okay. Can I just try again at opening it? Well, that's gonna work. You can't open this portal with your hands. Right, okay. Um... to the Alternian Pro Arena Stickball League with all 15 balls. In a real game of Arena Stickball, these are all different sizes and each has its own distinct powers. Okay. I either need something to pry the Cubat free or a guide to opening the uh, vault. Further conversation will put you and Joey Alien at even greater risk. I shouldn't even be thinking about stuff that the psychics the RS has under command. Probably better to maintain radio silence for now. Any of you a good thing to pry with? No. I don't... Try that spoon, right? I, I, I tried to pull it off the spoon or whatever. 
project down, but I'm out of other ideas. Spoon. You wedge the bent spoon in between the hilt and the wall, and that actually worked. All right, yes, you get the cue back. <laughs> this thing pops, a, packs a wall up, especially when the tip is chopped and it's carried by you. All right. As a troll, I should be able to do like actual combat, which would be interesting. 